now we're at 2015. 2015 is when you met Sauce Uh, 14. I'm sorry. 14. I'm okay. sorry. Yes, 2014 okay. is when I met him. All right. So you is it, okay. So is it safe to say you discovered him? Um. Yeah. That's kind of like the title that I was given. And okay. Of course, let's be clear. Like. Charles Walker has always been a true entertainer. Yeah, this ain't no Christopher Columbus type and, thing. Yeah, like, <laughs> did all of that. But I feel like, you know, people kind of feel like at the mixer, that's where I said him. Okay. He okay. has it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> For sure. So, okay, so 2009 with uh, High C running the Go DJs, helping him out. Organization specialist with High C. Right. All right, on top of... Uh, Situation specialist and all those type of things. In 2014, 14, you meet Sauce Walker at a a mixer, and you're yeah. doing mixes with DJ High C to go DJs, and then you kind of transferred into Allo. Um, well, I kind of transferred just on my own. I had actually I missed a little piece. Uh, Trey, the truth, reached out to me actually okay. while I was back in the corporate America, and he asked me to put together a mixer for his I Am King okay. mixtape. Yeah. And so I was I was a little unsure because I was like, well, I haven't done it in a couple months. But I ended up having a lot of DJs show up to our <laughs> studios for the event. I remember watching. And uh, that's when Aloe and June the next day called me and were like, Miss Megan, can you, can you help us get our you know, DJs right? And it's exactly what I did. For sure. And, um, and when I met with them, they had like 30 DJs, college DJs, and they were ready. They were hungry. They just needed that structure. So um, from there, um, so one week, uh, so I'm back to doing the mixers. And like in one day, 10 people are like, hey, when are you having the Sauce Twins? And I was like, who is that? <laughs> Found out who their person was, called that person. And the next week, I had a mixer, mixer yeah. for them. And um, At that it was mix a wrap. At that mixture, you seen Sauce Walker the first time. Was it Sauce? Yeah. Was it the twins connect like conjunctively, or when you saw Sauce Walker, you were like, "This dude is." So what it was, um, it was Sosa Walk Sancho okay. is who I really, really remember the, of that particular night, and um, and I just loved their energy. It was yeah. something I had never seen. Mm -hmm. And the you know, sauce. come to find out, you know, yeah, yeah he was right because was on fire, fire, all of them, yeah. right? So, me not knowing anything about them, I started paying attention to Sancho and Walk, mm -hmm. the twins, because that's who I was having the mixer for, mm -hmm. and um, through Instagram. And I was like, oh my god, that structure, that that organization, that. Um, that person to be consistent with them, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um yeah, a lot of people credit you with like management, artist development. Like, uh, I've recently seen an interview from Leroy Cohen on The Breakfast Club, and he talked about the one thing that the game is missing today is like that artist devel development. Mm -hmm. Like, for somebody to really like help an artist hone in and to like master their whatever it is, you know, right. their socks, if you will. So. Right. And and like I said, like nobody handed me a blue book. No one gave me what an artist artist development right. means. I just, you know, in my situation with the sauce, I feel like I developed them into, you know, the business side of the music industry, which is important, and, which is the largest part of it. Right. So, um, I mean, they're both true entertainers, the twins. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, but they're like night and day. Mm -hmm. But one thing about the sauce. In Sauce Walker and what I, I learned around him, surrounding him was at the end of the day even though he was from the hood and I learned what savage meant for sure <laughs> he had a bond that mm -hmm. I could relate to with you know my family I'm you yeah. know, close to my family or you know my close friends that I grew up with like I just always respected that like yeah, you know yeah. you so it's like a brotherhood but um but with that too, you know, we had to um, eliminate a lot of people too, like who was really down for the good of the situation and, and who was just down for the wave. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to get a, get rid of a lot of dead weight yeah, to, to, you know, be where walk, Sauce Walker's at today. But to say all that, I mean, I give him credit. Like when I first met with him, he's like, Ms. Megan, we need visuals and 
graphics. Yeah, to man. To this day, that's yeah. what he's putting out. So. For real, though. Definitely. Would you say, like, okay, Sauce Walker is known for, like, always calling artists out for not only copying Houston, but copying him him and his style. Mm -hmm. Do you notice it? So guess what? All right, I'm guessing. I lived it. I lived it. Yeah, I lived real, it. Real, real, real. And I lived it Me while too. it was happening. Yeah, like, man. While I was in motion. So yeah. I could really say, like, yeah. we would be on a plane or be in an airport in L.A. or be mm -hmm. in the, the freaking North Carolina and people would know. Mm -hmm who this man is, mm -hmm. you know? So that's when I started really paying attention, like, oh, okay. So when I say I live it, like, I, I witness going into studios with major artists and yeah. they get lost in the sauce. In the sauce, he man. He walks in <laughs> and it's, it's a wrap. It's like, a wrap. People just start yeah. going down. Like, yeah. I've witnessed it. I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. a follower. I'm a leader to a T. Yeah. But, yeah, like, I... The I, power of attraction. He... Yeah, he just he just felt like he a lot some people just didn't give him the credit, you know, yeah. where credits due and I mean he's he's just an entertainer. Yeah, he's one of the greatest man, especially you know? one of the best Houston's ever seen. <laughs> He's like, able to punch, get throw out them punches and yeah, yeah, man, and still survive. I still and, survive. He's a unique artist, man, definitely, yeah. man. A lot of he taught me my work. Hey, that's what's up. That's where I learned my worth and my time, the value of it. That's like a mug. That's the one thing you can't get back out here, man. Yeah. For real, though. That's what's up, man. I really liked it. I'm a big fan of what, man. Yeah.